Well, well, well. Been quite a bit, hadn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, today we are here playing Castle Crashers once again for the first time in a very long time. And you'll notice that uh, I'm playing a level 99 character right now. I got something specific planned today. Namely, I am going to be showing off the weapon and animal orb locations in the remastered version of Castle Crashers because. I am totally original. So let's get started. We're going to take this game in sequence. First screen of the game, come back with a shovel. You can actually hit the X here on the floor. You get Mr. Buddy. Mr. Buddy will actually increase your shoveling speed. I'm probably going to keep him around for most of the rest of the stuff. Right out of the gate, you get a Pitchfork. Pitchfork's plus one strength, minus one agility. After the second wave of enemies, dig up right here, you can get a Carrot. Carrot's plus one strength and plus one defense. Some weapons can only be obtained in shops, same goes for the animal orbs. The skinny sword here you can buy for 32 coins at the shop. However, this is also pointless. You unlock it by unlocking Grey Knight at the end of Barbarian Boss. This is also the cheapest place to buy potions for a very long time in the game, so I do want you to keep this in mind. Weapons Frog. Start off with the standard sword. I think this is referred to as the thick sword. I think. May just be the, the regular sword. Plus one to agility. I believe this is the starting weapon of the Green Knight. May starting weapon of the Red Knight. It gives you a critical chance. The Rat Sword is the starting weapon of the Blue Knight, which is plus one to magic. And the Broad Axe is the starting knight of the Orange Knight, which is plus one to strength. If you happen to have any of the DLC items unlocked, uh, then you'll have those available as well. I'm not going to show off every DLC weapon. That is a waste of time. However, we are back here. I want to show off a weapon that I won't be actually able to directly unlock in this. And a lightning bolt just goes with the Red Knight anyway. <coughs> Here in the Ark. The Golden Whales DLC. You can actually just combo up off of this door to obtain Sherbert the cat. Sherbert increases your jump height, which actually makes it harder to do jump combos, so it's usually regarded as the worst pet in the game. The way you're expected to get is just to do a magic jump, which you'd only be able to have by maxing out your magic, or almost maxing out your magic. All right, edge of forest entrance. You can get a leaf. Minus one to strength, plus three to magic, so if you're going for a magic-centric playstyle, this isn't bad to have, except for the fact that you need to dig it up. Which means you'll have better stuff unlocked by now. You can also come back here and grab the Owlet. Owlet proves itself to be immediately useful by grabbing a apple from the foliage, or at least some piece of fruit. That's kind of all it does. And I'm actually going to need to be right back with a different animal orb, because I completely forgot about something. Oh! I guess it does work! First tree of the stage, you can get yourself a thief sword, which is minus one strength and plus three magic. You actually have to have the cardinal pick it up for you. Yep! From the first bush, the cardinal will actually grab you a boomerang. I've shown off how useful boomerang can be. Oh, okay, second bush. Bush under the owl. Pooping for style of justice. Ah! 
Can I just ping pong a dead body? Alright. In this chest in the thief's forest that I had to come back for because, of course, I did. You get this, uh. I don't even remember what it's called. Really, I will be on screen. Plus two to strength, minus one to agility. It's also a level five weapon. It's kind of not great. Seahorse right here. Animal orb that allows you to move faster in water. Immediately useful for this area, but more immediately useful for... Well, something more annoying. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff back here. I believe this is another wrapped thing. Minus one strength, plus one magic, plus one defense. I believe that's also level five. And we have the twig. I think that one's actually referred to... Yeah, that's, that's the twig. Minus one magic, minus one defense, plus one agility, level one weapon. Not very good. Coming back here with bombs, however. You can, al you can also obtain the troll orb. Which is actually kind of bad. Don't pick this up. I mean, unless you're going for completion. I believe it's one health every eight seconds or something like that? It's something bad. Or it's like eight health every second, you know? Which means it's really only useful early in the game like now, as opposed to when you'll be able to get it, because you'll need bombs to get it. You need to at least beat this level to get bombs. Here in the Thief Shop, you can buy the tree branch. Plus two minus, plus two magic minus one defense, level one weapon. Cost 44 coins. This is also the cheapest shop to buy bombs in. I'm gonna stock up on bombs, we're gonna need more. No new weapons till tall grass field. Immediately here on the beach. Lobster. Lobster gives you a critical chance, minus one strength, plus one agility. Really great thing to have. Wrench here gives you critical chance, minus one magic, plus one strength. So you now have two weapons that have a critical chance. And, uh... Choose how you want to play this game. Keep in mind that some places to dig up will only yield money, food, or... Oh, that was money. Uh, sometimes you can get old boots. You actually need to get an old boot for the achievement uh, tied to digging things up. I think. Right here, you may notice a sign with a horn on it. That's a hint. A very subtle hint. Hawkster! Arguably the best animal orb in the game. Does one damage to any enemy laying on the floor, and uh, upon kill, will actually pick up uh, food items for you. That was easy. Ram! It's very good at knocking opponents down after a little bit. You can also drag it through opponents to knock them down like that. Really good against the slimes coming up, but... As Red Knight, it's really bad at keeping a combo going. Umbrella! You know, because it's raining. Level 5 weapon, minus 1 strength, plus 3 defense, so if you go for a defensive playstyle, there you go. Come back with the sandwich. Do. Hurrah! I found the tasty fish. Extra ice ability in your attacks and minus one to magic. Also level five weapon. This fish stinks. But what's this? There's a cracked rock. I think I only needed two there. Burly Bear! I believe this is plus three to strength in the remastered version. And... I think plus one to 
agility or something like that. Anyway. And that's where you play through this game for a guide with level 99 characters. Bye bat! If you and an opponent are looking away from each other, it will actually latch onto the opponent's head. Good setup for combos. A little hard to pull off in practice. <coughs> yeah, this is one of the worst levels for finding things, and wouldn't you know it, there's a secret out here. It's actually right here. Refined Mace. Gives you plus one to every stat but magic. It's also a level 10 weapon, which shouldn't be a problem at this point, but could be. Ah, in the reception hall. The Apple Peeler. Minus one strength, plus one magic, plus three defense. Again, you need to dig it up. I'm not terribly interested in trying to fight this boss right now, but... <coughs> just to show off. Get out of here. Upon crashing the wedding, you will actually gain access to the church store. So if you happen to die later on, you can come back for... I believe this is the foil? Fencer spoil. Plus one magic, minus one defense, plus three agility. Level 10 weapon again. And over here is the cane. Plus five to magic, minus two to defense. So if you really want to go for a mage play style, I'd recommend picking this up. Again, level 10 weapon, so. And monkey face, increase your luck finding items except for random or, or random weapon drops from enemies which is the thing you'd really want the luck to increase for. But, gives you a better chance of money and gives you a better chance of, uh, of some food too, so not a bad thing. Cyclops Cave. The only thing I'm here to show, Meowbert. Plus four agility. Actually, I think it may be plus five. No, it's plus four. Snoot, plus four to strength. That's literally all he's there for. Oh! I'm gonna let this despawn because you're supposed to get one later. Get out of here. Huzzah, he drops a weapon. Lightsaber, plus two agility, electric attributes. <coughs> Very much like my sword, which also has electric attributes. And I think I've shown that off a couple times already. No, no unique items in Lava World. Gonna go ahead and stock up on this here. Sandwiches, uh, start in Lava World and in the Volcano Store. So feel free to come in and pick up pick up a few uh, bites to eat. I do not even remember what this one's called. It's some kind of mace, I think. Or club. Plus five to strength, minus two to agility, level ten. And spiny, plus four to defense. Spiny is ridiculous. Half sword! Plus one to magic, or minus one to magic, plus two to defense, level five. You can actually just come into the level, grab it, and go. Apparently gear magic's able to like multi-hit bosses and stuff like that. Ah uh, yes, this twisted, I think it's curved sword. Plus three to magic, plus one to defense, minus one to agility, level ten weapon. You only ever see two brutes in this game. Both of them are in beefy mode, so you'll never know about the weapon that they have specifically until you realize you're missing something. I'll go over how to unlock them. If 
Cardinal helps you find hidden items. I actually kind of need to hold on to this. Bring the Cardinal up here. He brings you the pointy sword. Plus one to magic, plus two to strength and or defense and agility. Level 15 sword, so you may not have what it takes to get it, but one would hope you would. Since I mentioned it, this is the brute sword. Plus three to strength, defense, and critical chance. It's also a level 20 weapon. It is really, really good. And now, for desert. Hey, an apple. Hey, I crushed a sandcastle. This is where you pick up the shovel, by the way, in case you didn't know. Yes, I see it, boy. Ah, yes. Don't even remember what this is called. Plus one, two strength, plus three to defense, level 10 sword. And now you actually have the shovel. An old boot. Oh, I didn't realize scorpions are immune to magic. Probably true in real life, too. Oh! There you are! Yes, a giraffe, which gives you an extra 0.1% of experience for every experience you gain. Remember, that experience is through hit that actually takes health away from the enemies. Here. We'll be able to find us back here. You're a long hero away from this thing for. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, my sick moves, yo. It is definitely speeding up. It is definitely speeding up. It's gonna get me eventually, guys. It's right on top of me, dude. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna have to time that. That was funny. Come up here, hit install a ball, which shoots balls of plasma. Would have been really useful a moment ago. I think you're immune to scorpions up here. I oh, can also run them over. Nope, you're not immune to scorpions. Also, they are not magic immune. But again, you can run over scorpions. Alright, now you need to catch this guy. I mean, why make things easy on yourself, right? Especially since you can just completely and totally say screw these guys. Hurrah, zebras! Zebras guarantee you're going to pick up uh, food from breaking grass, which is completely useless. Pumpkin Peeler, plus three strength, minus two magic, plus two defense, level 10. And there's one other weapon back this way. The Kill Bossa, plus one magic, plus one strength, and critical chance level 10 weapon again. So there's a lot of level 10 weapons. Some of them are actually really good at this point. I'd recommend picking at least one up. Scratch paw. More strength and agility, I think. I want to say there's two of each, actually. 
think this is the only actual secret in this level remaining. <laughs> plus three mag- or, yeah, plus three magic, plus three strength, minus one defense, level 15 weapon. I actually need the cardinal for one thing out here. Froglet! Picks up items and brings them to you. I was actually waiting to open this one. Hammer! <laughs> Plus one strength, critical chance. Oh yeah. Ah yes. The secret joke weapon, the fishing rod. Minus one strength in electric properties. It's funny as originally this was just minus one to every step of magic. I think. May have been speed. According to uh, the community that's tracking stats and all that other stuff, the uh, snaky mace is the best item in the game. It's also a drop only from the snakes. Candlestick. Fire attribute. Minus one strength, plus two magic. It's actually a pretty solid weapon, honestly. Oh, did I get it on the first try? Yes! Gold sword. Plus four magic, uh, plus one defense, level 15 weapon. I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but the, uh, the fishing rod's a level one weapon. So, uh, if you need any more signs that it's actually meant to be useless, there you go. We're still not done with this level. There's still one more thing in this level that we need to get. Hey, frog. Hey, here. Oh, give me a sec. We'll talk about you in a second. Here we go. Snail bird, plus five defense, minus five speed. Making it one of the worst in the game. And I think that's actually everything. Hey, there you are. The behemoth chicken. It's really just called the chicken, but it's it's the symbol for the behemoth. Plus one to every step of magic. You're also not affected by the water, so if you figured that was going to be something to help you, uh, you were wrong. Fishing Spear! Minus two strength, plus five agility, and critical chance, and Snicky Mace! Yes! I actually got one. I had one earlier, it's just... I managed to get it. A new one. Plus five magic, minus two defense, plus three agility, and poison. This is also a level 20 weapon, but it is super good. <laughs> poison is just really good in the game in general, though. I think, personally, there's a better poison weapon, but... If you like playing magic and agility, then this is a really good pick. <laughs> Cannot believe... I forgot this. Chewed up sword. Minus one magic, plus four defense, plus two agility, level 15 weapon. And Play Doh Maker. <laughs> plus three magic, plus three defense, minus one agility, level 15 weapon. Boom! Gladiator sword. Plus one strength, minus one magic, plus three defense, critical chance, level 15 weapon. Here we are. Key sword! Minus one strength, plus three to agility and magic, level 15 weapon. You actually need this later. Here at the snow village. A little closer. You find a chicken stick. Plus two to magic, minus one to defense, plus one to speed. Or agility, rather. And it's a level five weapon, so it's pretty much useless. Penguin! Don't worry, little penguin, I'll defend you.
Aww, hey little buddy. Hmm, looks like someone's home. It was a Yeti. This makes you immune to any ice attacks, so... If you're playing against Blue Knight, I'd recommend grabbing this. You're immune to freezing. However... This is by Polar Bear. Some people say this is the best animal in the game. I disagree. Kills any enemy or ally at 11 HP. Supposedly also kills bosses at 11% health. I've yet to see this. I think they may have changed that in uh, Remastered, but yeah, 11 health. Swan Village Store. I don't need any more bombs, but I'm going to grab more bombs. Thick Sword here. It's uh, plus 2 to Strength, minus 1 to Magic, plus 5 to Defense, which is really good. And it is a level 15 sword, which you've just beaten the Swamp, you should be level 15. Also Piggy, which I think doubles the amount of food you, or the, doubles the amount of health you get from food. Also, nice little secret, extra five gold every time you walk in here. So if you really want to grind up, you know, clearly that's the best spot to do it. Also, this is now the cheapest place to buy potions in the game, because it's 11 for these. Still 19 for, still more expensive uh, for bombs than Thief Store. Another sword. This is plus 4 to strength, plus 2 to defense, minus 2 to agility. It's a level 15 weapon. You can buy more sandwiches. I think it's more expensive here than it is in Lava Store. By the way, I haven't gone over the animal lore I've been using, but that's Paz of the Dog. Pazzo helps you find buried treasures, and there are two secret treasures only Pazzo can find. In fact, if I go away, you only see the X and Pazzo's here. It's the bone leg. Easily the best. Minus two strength, plus five to agility, and poison. It's ridiculous. We also have the cleaver, which is plus five to strength. Minus 2 to magic and plus 2 to agility, also level 15, just like the others. This outfit is itchy. So, ribeye. It gives you plus 4 to strength, minus 2 to magic, and plus 4 to agility. Level 20 weapon, which you may not be yet, but there you go. You also have a secret only Pazzo can find, which means you probably have to come back here unless you fail one of the levels. This is the Ice Sword, which gives you ice abilities and plus two to magic. There's literally nothing else. Now, remember what I said about that uh, key being important? I should have just held on to this so I didn't forget it. I don't think this is actually going to matter. Because I've already got this animal orb right out here. Nope. Beholder, plus four to magic. That is literally all it does. You do not get it until you've beaten, almost beaten the game. Each one of these bosses has a secret weapon. I'm in your castle. I believe all of these artworks actually have a like secret name in the game text. So I'll post those when they show up. I will <coughs> Please, please, please tell me it worked. Damn it. 
Guess we're doing this boss fight again. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cannot believe you talked so, so fast last time. And I lost this thing. Unicorn Horn, level 15 weapon. Minus 3 strength, plus 6 magic, and plus 1 defense. Real solid. Alright, those of you who know your Counselor Crashers, you get one hint. Also, obvious X on the floor leads to a wooden mallet. Wood club. Plus two to every stat, but magic, level 20 weapon. Bye! <laughs> I should probably keep the rest of that boss fight in, that was kind of ridiculous. Obsidian sword, plus seven defense, plus two magic, level 20 weapon. Really, really strong, man. Thanks. <laughs> I have a feeling I need it. Arrows. I love it. <laughs> Alright, uh, controls seem pretty simple. Okay. Alright, so, is this your highest level character, or just the one you want to play? Just the one I want to play. <laughs> I think it probably is my highest level. Okay, so if you can't tell, um, my guy's level 99. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'll just be there having fun, you know? <laughs> I won't be any help, but I'll be there. <laughs> actually, you know what? I think I might want Pazzo after all. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually keep Pazzo. So I came in here to waste time. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's probably going to be better on me to know where these, where this spot is, even though I think I can see it normally anyway. Um, so yeah. Fair enough. I'm gonna go change weapons too. <coughs> Alright. Oh, there's a lot of shoes on here. Holy crap. Yeah. I've obtained every weapon in the game except one. Yeah? It's this one right here. The the empty space right here. Oh. I see. It requires multiplayer to unlock. Fair enough. Uh, what one would you recommend? These are all ones that I can't use. <laughs> Basically pick up whatever you can use. That's that's yeah. what I recommend. Um, right. I'm going to be an absolute nut and grab this. <laughs> now time for me to see what I can use. It's been a while since you played. It has been a long time since I last played. To be fair, the max you could use is a level 10 weapon, and you can't use anything that's dug up, so... Yeah. Is that one good? Lightning? Yeah. Yeah, that's a DLC weapon. Oh, can I not pick it? I, I guess you don't have the... Big red I don't know. Um... Would you have to have the wrench? That one's pretty solid. Nope, you didn't I pick that up. Pick okay, so... Okay, so I can't pick any of these because I don't actually have them. So, the this is... Uh, you can get the lollipop if you want. That's like plus five to agility. But that, yeah. I mean, I play heavy agility in this game, so. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll just go with that. All right. So it, it's funny that uh, that that's a thing for you, because this is supposed yeah. to be a weapon guide I'm working on. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> well. <laughs> so like, this is a weapons and animal orbs guide. Yeah. All right. All right. Final battle, huh? Yeah, I haven't I'm just played gonna... this hard to the game ever, so it'll be yeah, interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm jump straight to the final boss fight. So I'm gonna spoil the entire final boss for you if you haven't already seen it. But I'm I sorry for that. That's but, fine. But, uh, <laughs> I kinda need your help. Fair enough. And we're spoiling nothing else but the boss fight, which is fortunate. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> Don't worry. That's fine. If you played Kingdom Hearts, this is fairly easy. I have only played the first one. Alright. 
Now, that thing I said about it being a uh, three-phase fight was a lie. Wait, what does that mean? Just kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What is this? This isn't even the final form. <laughs> Come on, Quill, you're better at this. You've had plenty of practice. Oh, gosh. That, like, really, uh... Yeah. Got, God, got this is gonna there. suck for the final phase. Final phase is uh -oh. the worst phase. Here we go. Oh, and now the castle's oh, crashing. Got it? Uh oh. Oh, so that's why it's called Cash the Castle Crashers, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Oh boy, here we go. All worst right, phase. So... Oh my gosh. I'm scared. Yeah. This is the entire fight. Oh, he's dead! Got his weapon! <laughs> Yay! That is not the weapon I need you for, by the way. That's okay. Oh. This thing is like moving. plus two to every stat but defense, and it also gives you fire attributes, which is <laughs> also a plus, like a times, or it's a 2%, which is like the best percentage of any of the effects in the game, because all the others are 1% chance. Oh, I see. <laughs> There, there's one stage that I'm like, I seriously would dread in multiplayer because it killed me so many times in, oh, uh, no. in single player. That sounds fun. <laughs> have, have you done the pirate ship level? Because it's like two oh, after that. Party. I don't think I have, no. Okay. Pirate ship does not sound familiar to me at all. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I actually Dude, needed you for- out. <laughs> I actually needed you for this room. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Are don't worry about- Don't this? worry about- Don't worry about PvP. Stand in front oh, of this okay, guy okay. and hold up your shield. This guy? Okay. Yep. Oh, I love the song. Stand right in front of his face. Right in front of his face. Do we want me to go closer again? Yep. Okay. Heck yeah! Hey, you did it! Woohoo! There we go! Got the rubber sword. I'm down, but. <laughs> Let's see, what is that? Yay! It is plus two to strength, minus two to magic, plus three to agility. It's a level ten weapon. And you also, uh, you also get rights to the weapon because you are here at the end. Aw, thanks. Can you like revive me or something? No, because it's PvP <laughs> environment. Oh, I'm also okay. going to let this kill me, actually. Unless this <laughs> makes enough. me use up a bunch of potions. <laughs> Hang on, let me get into a better position. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> did it! <laughs> I know in uh, original Castle Crashers, that would use up all of your stuff. <laughs> oh, jeez. That, yeah, that's it's not so bad. Fun. Hey, you actually <laughs> killed stuff. someone in that, though. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that has been bothering me for so long. <laughs> Alright. So let's go ahead and show off Insane Mode. Once you beat the game, you unlock the Insane Store. Greetings, Traveler. And also, my love is real, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we've got... Oh, Dragonhead occasionally shoots fire, Pelter occasionally shoots ice. I think Dragonhead's referred to as the better one because the fire, like, does fire damage, but the ice balls don't freeze. Anyway, you can also get a chainsaw with critical chance and plus 5 defense, level 30. The Newgrounds Gold Sword, which is plus 5 strength, plus 5 magic, minus 3 agility. And the gold mace, which is plus three strength and critical chance. All those are level 30. You've beaten the game, you should be higher than that. You might not be. There's also one other thing I need to show. If you go to the map, huzzah, it's on fire. Uh, we are actually here to play through a section we've already done and find a new secret.
By the way, that 2% chance of fire is, like, ridiculous. Insane mode is, I think, basically times 10 to everything but you. So, have fun. Wood sword. Level 5 weapon, plus 1 agility, plus 1 strength. You need to buy this sword as part of your completion as well. Yes. I'm not kidding. <laughs>